हेलो एवरीवन ये एक हाईलाइट वीडियो होने वाली है जिसमें कि आपके क्वेश्चंस उनके आंसर्स जो सी एस आई आर एस आर टी पी का जो आज सेशन चला था उसकी एक हाईलाइट वीडियो होने वाली है कि क्या आपका नाम फाइनल लिस्ट में आया नहीं आया आपको कौन सा प्रोजेक्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हुआ या आपको किस सी एस आई आर लैब में आपको प्रोजेक्ट करने को मिलेगा इस सब के रिगार्डिंग जो भी क्वेश्चन हैं वो मैं एक हाईलाइट वीडियो बना के डाल रहा हूँ और सबसे पहला काम आप ये कीजिए कि डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में जाके अपने आपके जो क्वेश्चंस हैं उनको देख लीजिए और उसके सामने मैं टाइमिंग डाल दूंगा और उस टाइमिंग पे आपको आपके आंसर्स मिल जाएंगे सो हेयर वी गो आई डिडेंट ऑफ फॉर दर्टिकुलर इंस्टीट्यूट हावर माई नेम इज लिस्टेड इन द सिलेक्शन लिस्ट ऑफ अदर इंस्टीट्यूट मे आई नो वाई इट इज सो if the so our answer is like this if the applicant is not considered by the preferred lab for training you need not get disheartened you have online connectivity you have mentors any mentors you will get but if it is in your preferred lab you didn't get the mentor or selection nothing to worry about nist will take care with the mentors associated with the, this srtp program so there is another questions i registered for seta csir srtp 2020 program and my registration is detailed as under so i didn't find my name in the institute white list so is there any confusion about my selections this is the same type of questions we are getting from a few uh, candidates so what we request you that please visit frequently our website srtp website under csir nist website domain to look for the uh, updated version of selection as well as to know about your mentorship sir my name is showing in two projects do i have to complete both the projects this is a information to all the participants if you do see your name in two or more projects then you have to only opt for one project only because there may be some overlapping while our typings and all may be typographical errors uh, uh, this is being shown like this so what you have decide that you will opt for only one project under one mentorship when will be the mentors of other institution released further i was provisionally selected so when the mentors list will be released so our request is please visit the website and get the updated information sir i want to ask can we change our project as i am in project 2 which is totally a new subject for me as i am a masters in geology the answer already been given it's a multidisciplinary approach and the learning process is how we should pursue the research and development so in this regard at this juncture it is not possible to change the subject sir how will i know that who is the mentor if that is all the all already been answered please visit website you will be updated what is the basis of selection of students in different projects it is as per the students academic credential and the area of interest and also sop so here i would like to re reiterate that some of these students who had applied after 8th june their names may not be there or they may not might not have get, got any uh, reply mail so uh, because 8th june was our last date but whoever applied before 8th june they have been selected and accommodated sir i have been assigned under project 2 which is related to agriculture but i am from biochemistry background at the time of application i have given area of interest related to the infectious disease genome sequencing and bioinformatics so all experiments or all projects will be 
multidisciplinary. So accordingly, you have to work on that. And our mentors will help you. Nowadays, uh, uh, many things are multidisciplinary. So the, with agriculture background also, now with your biochemistry background, you can work in agriculture. That will give more understanding biochemical pathway in agriculture processes. My name is present in the list of Project 12 of NIST, as well as University of Science and Technology, Beghalaya. So could you please clarify me under which institute I will be working? I am not added to WhatsApp group. Could you please add me? So this is a common question actually. So you have to choose a project which you like. CSR list all the project we have developed as informed earlier. It is a multidisciplinary project. So all categories of student, they will get the scope to work in the project. Of course, you can choose CSR NIST or USTM one institute. Please clarify about the list of online theory and practical lectures. How can we register? And please clarify this point. So actually, all the online lectures and uh, demonstration classes, it will be informed in a scheduled manner in our SRTP website. So which is under progress. So you will be coming to know in which the series of lectures and the timing of all lecture series in the our website. Everybody is asking that when will other lab like IICB, CDRI, CCMB publish their list. So we are working on that. How many students the other lab will take based on that only they will publish the list and it will come on our website. So you please wait and see in your, our website and already it is informed that some other labs of CSIR, they are no, not unable to take some students. So all that students we have not rejected, but we included in CSIR needs. So there is a chance that you have applied for some other lab, but you will be working under the mentorship of CSIR needs your heart. Actually, we are getting a lot of questions regarding WhatsApp uh, numbers. So it is already being answered. Uh, definitely, we will be adding the WhatsApp numbers, which are uh, you know not being added so far. And uh, the thing is that you know we have uh, received those numbers which are being provided in the application numbers. So if somebody's number does not have WhatsApp, then in that case uh, we cannot add them. But if you would like to add uh, your uh, WhatsApp number, please send an email. And uh, one more thing already Dr. Jatinkolita has mentioned that if somebody's name was there in the provisional list and the final list, uh, the name is missed, you know, uh, and uh, somebody's, uh, somebody has sent uh, their, their applications by email and uh, their name is not reflected in any of the lists, uh, you know, don't worry for that. Okay, now we are working on it and we are adding it and uh, the uh, you know, applications which are being missed, please send uh, to our new email address, uh, which is uh, csirsrtp2020 at gmail.com. Only to that email address, you forward all the applications which are being sent on, uh, you know, before uh, 9th June till 8th June midnight. We'll consider those. And, and more questions we are getting that they have applied in a different lab, but their name is now reflected in the uh, NIST or uh, actually uh, our directors are clearly told that you know many CSI labs they are related to they are working on the COVID related work and they are not able to uh, consider many students so those who are really interested to be a part of this SRTP and we are con we are happy to consider them as a part of different projects in SRTP we, of CSI NIST program and all these projects are multidisciplinary you know, if, if somebody is from physics background and they are allotted to material science related or analytical chemistry related project also, they need not to worry because uh, they can learn, you know, many things related to the material science. And even uh, somebody is from the pharmacology background or they are doing M pharma, but they are added in say project number six, which is based on the new new nutraceuticals and all. So they can learn, uh, you know, uh, something additional added to their for, uh, pharmacy. Okay, she is writing that her name was in the provisional list, but uh, can't find the name in the final list. And she has sent emails to Nandita uh, CJ, 
if you are really interested definitely we will add your name in the uh, you know any uh, project of uh, csi or nest you know please send the, your application again to the, the new email address uh, which is csirsrtp2020@gmail.com okay and not only you those whose names who are there in the provisional list but not in the final list please send i am repeatedly saying that thing please send to our a uh, new gmail address okay we'll consider those applications we are working on it please please keep patience and please visit our website that uh, got selected in first provisional list that could not find my name in the second list i was this edit in whatsapp group and again ncl cdr asc we have not provided any list see and then what is next for me see many csir labs they are working on covid related problems okay so it is not possible for them to accommodate the project students and the, even their research students are not coming to the respective labs so in that case so there is not possible to consider many applications to those labs like say whether it is ccmb or ncl or cdri okay so in that that case if those applicants who were interested it will be a, a, a part of uh, the project of csir nist will definitely consider their applications we are getting one new email id for this uh, purpose only so whose name is not there in uh, this uh, new uh, result sheet please uh, send your uh, forward your earlier mail to this uh, new mail id that is csir srtp 2020 @gmail.com and we will work on this and upload it this result within a short and please visit our website this uh, message will be forwarded to our uh, srtp website also it will be link in our srtp website so please uh, visit our website and please be patient we will doing our uh, try to our best to select all the candidates whoever applied to this uh, csir 38 laboratories and again one more interesting thing is that if somebody is interested to this csir nist jorhat then please uh, send your mail and then definitely we will try to accommodate all the candidates to csir nist laboratories so pankaj bharali has announced one important announcement because many queries were there their name initially it was shown in the uh, provisional list but afterwards their name was not there but actually we have allotted this uh, many application to different laboratories and this results yet to come and they will be taking some students and the remaining students we have to take from csir nist so this is this mail has been created particularly for those whose name was not uh, included in the final list that is csir srtp 2020 at the red gmail.com so you can forward your previous mail application mail you can forward to this mail certainly we will include in their name and another one thing uh, many people are telling that my name is in two three places but we have verified that many similar names are there common names same name we have received application that is why actually we have not rejected those applications because we have seen that their father's name their mother's name or something it is different it is not same although name may be same but their other details are different so you don't worry uh, your particular name will be there in a project you can attend any one of the project wherever your name is there the labs which he selected is not in the list that means so either that lab is busy for the uh, covid related work or they are even they are not allowing the students and uh, so and they have not provided us the updated list but once uh, it is available uh, we will update it very soon so i think i am replying mukund properly so actually you know it is clearly mentioned that this is not online lecture series it's online research training program where there will be different lectures on several topics lectures by eminent scientists you know live demonstration of uh, equipments live demonstration of the different experimental procedures which are being carried out in the lab as well as there will be survey related you know work also and uh, definitely those 
analysis of data and interpretation can be done at the end of this project and that will be done by the mentors as well as the mentees. So there should be strong connection between the mentors as well as the mentees for successful completion of the training program. Name was there in the provisional list. They had applied in three lab of which two lab had not declared their result. Please help to know the status of my selection. So that means three lab uh, out of three, two had already declared. And I think there are some mixer. Your name is not there in these two labs name. So now if you are interested to be part of CSI and SRTP projects, then you have to forward your earlier application. Okay. New application will not be considered definitely already. You know, the, the applications which were sent on or before 8 June 2020, that only you can forward. Okay, don't send any new uh, email. Okay, just forward your old, you know, application only. Yes, that is important. You, at the same time, it is only for the students who are interested to be part of the CSIR NIST projects.